and welcome to Courage in Flight or Courage TV. I'm Dr. Tao Do, a communication coach. Now, Courage TV is a show that celebrates everyday people who have taken courageous steps in their lives. And today I have two very special guests. We're going to be cooking something today. I have Monique and Gio. Hi, Monique and Gio. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. So what are we cooking today? Today we yeah. are making cupcakes. 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 And not just any cupcakes. We're making Gio's favorite. These oh. are candy cupcakes. Candy. Yum. Yes. So for our ingredients, we've got everything laid out. Gio's going to help us out here. We've got um, cake mix, three eggs, one cup of water, half cup of oil. And we're going to top it off with our nerds. 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 Yes. Oh, my favorite candy, especially so, in the movie. Oh, yes, yeah. that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right. I'm going to get it started. Um, we've got the oven preset to 350. So then I will crack the first egg, and then we'll each take one and take turns. Awesome. Thanks, Gio. You're welcome. Now, Gio, how old are you? Eight. Eight? Yeah, and what grade are you in? Third. Oh, third. Yes. I hear that you are very brave. Can you tell us a story about when you have to be really courageous and brave? Um, I went to summer camp and I went to horseback riding. And first when I got there, I met my first horse. His name was Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Yes. Was he yellow? Um, he was brown and white. Brown and white, awesome. I was a little scared of riding him in the first place, but then when I knew him, on the second day, um, I knew him, and I was really excited to ride him again. Oh, awesome. And what, what was something that helped you overcome your fear from like being afraid to ride him to just feeling really comfortable with him? Well, I knew he was really nice, and he wouldn't bite me, and he would, and he, he was a good horse, and he licked me six times. <laughs> he licked you six times <laughs> on your hand? Yes. Ah, did you have, like, candy or peanuts for him? No. <laughs> you know, I've, I've ridden horses as well in Iceland, and I had a horse. He's like a little pony, so Icelandic horse are very special because they're stocky and a little shorter than, I guess, American horse. So he has these long black hair. His name was Bob Marley. And I was wearing this jacket. So someone happened to put a snicker bar <laughs> wrapper in my jacket. So this horse the whole time was just trying to like figure out if I had candy. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Awesome. OK, so you so just mix it. Mm -hmm. You were going to mix. So we have a story that we share together. We yeah. went swimming with the dolphins God, about yes. two years ago. And I was three. more afraid. Was it three? Yeah. Okay, he remembers better <laughs> than I do. Yeah. I was a little afraid because it was my first time and his first time as well. And we were doing it together. And so Gio was actually quite fearless. Yeah. I was a little nervous because I felt like I had to swim for the both of us. And you're <laughs> in this massive body of water with this huge mammal. Mm -hmm. And it's like, OK, Okay, this is either going to go really well <laughs> or we're going to have an interesting story to tell. But we lived through it and we did yeah. it and it was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So what did you do with the dolphins? So we asked, first we took pictures. Okay. And so kind of warming up to it, I think, made us both feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. And then from after the picture, we swam out into the middle. Thank you. And then from swimming into the middle, we waited for the dolphin to come pick us up. Right. And then as we're waiting, Gio's on my back, and then he's holding on for dear life. <laughs> and then the dolphin just comes up in front of us. I grab onto the back to it, on the back of it, and it takes off. Uh, and on the that fins was awesome. of the dolphin? Yes, on the fins wow. of the dolphin. That was pretty awesome. That's exciting. And Gio is in the background like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> were you scared? Not really. No. no. <laughs> Well, yeah. I was scared a little bit, not that much. Okay. Did you have two dolphins or just one that you're like holding on? Just top? the one. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I love dolphins. They're super intelligent. Oh, I'm just smelling how I know. good it smells. It's like this vanilla. This is just about ready. I love oh, dolphins. Go. Um, you know, I mm -hmm. also swam dolphins with my dad as well, and okay. he was super scared. Um, but it's just 
It's the fear before you do something. Mm -hmm. As soon as you decide, you know, this is gonna be awesome, and I'm gonna love this. Right. Then it's not as scary anymore. It becomes this exhilarating moment. And you're gl you're grateful that you actually took that leap of faith, right. and you trusted yourself, and you did it. Yes. Yeah. That was an awesome experience. I was glad that we were able to do that together. Yeah. It's great memory. Right? It is. And they're super smooth and they're very intelligent. They're very strong animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, as the dolphin was swimming and carrying us, like basically across one end of the ocean, I could feel his tail beneath me. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, I mean, <laughs> he is strong. He is, yeah. Did they try to do them? push your feet kind of maneuver? Yes, so like once you once you grabbed onto the dolphin, you had to push your feet back. Mm -hmm. That way you did not get hit by the tail. And so, yep, we followed directions <laughs> and we lived to tell the story. Yeah. What I love um, when we were doing it, there was a child who had one foot was super strong mm -hmm. and then one foot was like injured. Mm -hmm. And as the dolphin is swimming up, the dolphin knew which foot was the injured one. Aww. And it went for the strong for the strong foot and it just pushed him across the water. Wow. Yeah, so it has this intuitive energy mm -hmm. about it that it knows exactly you know, what people are feeling. For example, in our group, there was a woman who was super scared, mm -hmm. and so the dolphin just kind of left her alone to be. Mm -hmm. But then there were other people who were not as scared, mm -hmm. and so the dolphin would swim around them. Halfway, you got it. You yeah. Take it over, you got it. So they can feel our energy mm -hmm. in the water without us saying or making without too much Without you saying, mm -hmm. yes. And yeah. I think that speaks a lot to, like you said, the intuitiveness of just kind of listening to your inner self. And so the dolphin is smart enough to know, okay, either this person is afraid yeah. <laughs> or they need an extra push. Right. And so kind of, you know, helping you, coasting you is is very quite amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, thank you. All right, so we're filling up halfway? Yes, so we're gonna fill it up halfway. How's that taste? Good. Yeah? It's one of my favorite part of making cakes is to uncook batter. So good. All Perfect. right. Okay, that'll work. Thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and place this in the oven for 30 minutes. 30 open minutes. that up for me, please, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, high five. Nice job, buddy. If you're just tuning in, this is Courage TV. I'm here with Monique and Gio, and we're baking candy cupcakes. And now I'm gonna show a special recipe that I like to do in the summer. So we'll take these glasses. Thank you. And Gio, Thank you. can help me add some ice in the glass. That'd be great. So here's an ice bucket. What we have here is a special type of tea. It's in a clear, transparent pot, mm -hmm. and we put a blooming tea bud inside. It's melon flavor. Mm. So as you let it steep, the flavor will infuse in the water, and it'll open up like a flower. Mm -hmm. So what I love to do is just add a mix of ice, a little citrus, mm -hmm. and then some of the sparkling water. Okay. So zero calorie, and then a little touch of tea. And it makes this refreshing summer drink. Sounds refreshing. Yeah. Awesome. So you were just telling us about your experience swimming with dolphins. Yes. Awesome. Can you tell us more about what was that like? Well, it's exhilarating, um, a little bit exciting, and scary at the same time. Yeah. Um, I think for us, you know, swimming with dolphins was a great experience for the both of us mm -hmm. um, because it took trust in each of us, in ourselves, and then in this animal that we did not know. But um, we made the best of it and we had a blast. Yeah. Now, do you have any future adventures that you're planning on doing? That's a great question. Um, I would like to go snorkeling. Some Snorkeling, um, yes. yeah, in the Caribbean. Yes, um, awesome. we tried it once. Um, Gio was a little young at the time, but 
we definitely gave it a shot and um, I would like to try it again because I think he would enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love snorkeling, especially in the Caribbean. You, know, you can see these grand turtles and all these like school fishes mm -hmm. swimming. A little bit nerve-wracking at Just first. Just a little. <laughs> right, because you don't know if you're going to be able to breathe properly in right. the weird mask. It's a combination of things happening there. Yeah, and we were on a catamaran. Okay. With these flippers, so mm -hmm. we jump off the boat. Okay. And it's it's you know it's like three feet fall. Just oh wow. Trusting and falling into the water. That takes uh, courage. Yeah. So here we have some sparkling water. Okay. So, and you can see the flower is starting to bloom and it's opening up. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. It, it's just it's. It's a joy to watch um, over time. It's a different type of tea. Okay. Yeah. Thank I you. have another one too. Add that in. Now, how long shall we bake the cupcakes for? So the cupcakes are going to bake for 30 minutes. I'm going to check them after 25 just to make sure. Like you want your cupcakes to be moist. Right. You don't want them to be overcooked or dry. So we're going to check on them in about five minutes. Awesome. I love the color that this, this is turning pretty. out to. This is raspberry lime sparkling water. Okay. And so it has uh, these bubbly mm -hmm. deliciousness uh, and a touch of raspberry and lime mm. to it, like a hint of fruit. Oh, very nice. You can see its beautiful color development. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When you talk about courage and intuition, mm -hmm. like how do you what does that mean to you? And how do you know when to be courageous, mm -hmm. when to trust, and then when to just back off and say, you know, this is not for me? That's a great question. I think courage and intuition, they, they, they work in tandem. They go hand in hand. Because it really does take the intuitiveness within you to know when to push beyond your fear and when to listen to that side of you that's trying to keep you safe. Right. So I think knowing is really about listening to yourself. Yes. For instance, with our experience with swimming with the dolphins, it was knowing that we could do this yeah. and knowing that, okay, we're swimmers, <laughs> we can do this, right. was enough to kind of help us both take that leap beyond our fear. Mm -hmm. But I think knowing when to say, you know what, I think I'll sit this one out. Mm -hmm. And that's okay too. Yeah. And it's listening to yourself, I think, is just as courageous as taking that extra step. Yeah, sometimes the most courageous thing mm -hmm. to do is to say no. And say, Absolutely. it's not my preference. Absolutely. And for me, it helps when I'm in an environment with trainers, you know, with like an organization that's supportive. I mm -hmm. see a bunch of people swimming with dolphins mm -hmm. and riding horses, so mm -hmm. I'm not alone. Right. That helps for me to know, like, okay, you know? Very nice. <laughs> and this person is surviving, mm -hmm. and then I should be fine too. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're ready to check on the cupcakes. All right. Yes, okay. Now let's just turn on the light, and let's just come down and take a look. Okay, we're almost Whoa. there, not quite. Okay, so we'll give them just a couple more minutes. And it's smelling huh? delicious. It is in smelling here. good. Awesome. It's like a confectionery, <laughs> confection bakery. So, are we adding anything else to this? Uh, no, we're just okay. gonna wait until the flowers bloom. When okay. the cupcake's ready, we'll awesome. pour in the tea. Awesome. And we'll taste a little touch of melon, okay. raspberry, lime, and with the some nerves. <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. Yeah. Well, one thing that I want to talk about that G that's kind of a new adventure for Gio is basketball. Oh, so awesome. Gio has been playing basketball for the past two years now. Yeah. The first year was a huge challenge because it was his first time and he joined a team that was very competitive. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what your first day was like? A little bit? Yes. Did you like your first day? No, not so much. <laughs> Mainly because it's like when you're new to something and everyone else is very good mm -hmm. and you're kind of learning the ropes, it was a little bit intimidating. Right. But I was so proud of him because instead of kind of folding and just kind of being afraid and not wanting to do it, he kind of rose to the occasion. And he played, and he's been playing ever since. And he's like the star player now, so it's pretty That's awesome, awesome. <laughs> to see him grow. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> to see him grow and yeah. be good at something that he really enjoys. Right. 
Yeah, sometimes when you're starting out, mm -hmm. there's this beginner stage mm -hmm. where everything seems scary, where you feel like you're behind everyone, everyone knows more than you. Right. And then it's just pushing through and practicing, right? How did you overcome that? Like, how did you overcome this feeling of intimidation in the beginning and to where you are now? Do you practice every day? Would you say that helps you? Sometimes my mom takes me out to practice, or my dad will. Mm -hmm. Then we would practice every time when I go to basketball. We'd practice, then we would play games. After, when I, after we would play games, I would sometimes practice again after. Yeah, what do you practice? Are you throwing hoops? Are you playing games against each other with other friends? Playing games against each other. Yeah? What's your favorite type of game in your practice? The three against three? Sometimes it work? one on one. Yeah. And the last <laughs> game we played. I crushed you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And I was trying my best. <laughs> and he still beat me. Do you remember the score? I want to, we played three games and more than three games. How many games? It's like seven games and we I crushed seven you. Seven games. Yes. You beat me seven times. Yes. <laughs> I don't think that's yes. the truth. I well, crushed you. You beat me every game. Yes. <laughs> what was the score? Uh, um zero to something. Oh really? Yes. You had zero. You. <laughs> that might have been true. But the point is, we played he beat me, and I was actually shocked because I think I can play basketball pretty yeah. well. What do you think? Not better than me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clearly. I see the confidence, the pure confidence. <laughs> yes, so let's see. I think we're good on the cupcakes. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's bring go it ahead up. and take them out. So they're a little hot. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them, we're gonna remove them from the place. Oh from the dish, place them on a plate, okay. and let them cool just a little bit. They smell delicious. They do, don't they? Yeah. I'm gonna borrow this here. It's like vanilla, uh, just warm, gooey. So you can always tell, no, these are hot, babe. If your cupcakes are like overcooked, if you look at the bottom, and if they're like brown brown, or worst case scenario, black. Yeah. Then you might wanna try again. But it looks like ours are perfect. Yeah, they're very like spongy. They are. I love the texture. That. <laughs> Not really. It's my favorite part. Just taking out the pastry from the oven. That first sight. That one. Yeah, that's a good one. Fat. Different size. Oof. He's fat. And almost like I call it a It just. <laughs> I call dibs. Oh, okay. on the dibs big on one? the biggest one? Yes, dibs on the biggest one. Okay. Alright. Dibs. The second. I'm gonna trade with you here and we'll Yay. place these here. So we're gonna let those cool just a little bit. I think I'm gonna take those. We'll save the pretty ones. Yeah. There we go. You're just gonna put them in there. Yes. And we'll let those cool over there. Okay. So the next thing, we are going to ice in these. And so you typically want to wait until they're nice and cool before you do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you ice in them too soon, they'll begin, the icing will melt. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, um, I guess we can kind of just get everything prepared and take a look at this awesome video of Gio when he was just two years old. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. We are ready to ice in our cupcakes, but before we do, we're gonna poke holes. So, <laughs> you take the lead. All right. So what we're doing is we're just creating some space so that once we add our nerds, we're actually going to uh, fill the holes sure. with the candy. So this should be interesting. <laughs> it's a little surprise. <laughs> I love these secret surprise. It's like um, lava chocolate cake where yes. you bite into it and in the middle is just this lava explosion of fudge and hot chocolate. Yeah, so we're going to be crunching on <laughs> That's awesome. All right. This is your special one, right? You had dips on this one. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Do you want to... <laughs> okay. Nice. Keep it going. Okay, so you poke and I will stuff. How about that? Sure. Okay, right. keep going. Oh, yay! <laughs> Here we go. Bring it. There we go. Now, do you guys cook a lot at home? Together? Believe it or not, I do all the cooking and Gio helps <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah? Yes, oh, Kaya. Yes. Oh, yes. Kaya helps us as well. That is, um... There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, scoot it over. Yes. That looks fun. I'll take that. So what do you like to cook together? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yeah, this is our specialty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought cupcakes was like a really good exercise because it's all about measuring. So it's like a combination of math, combination of, you know, paying attention so that you know, okay, how much do I need to add? What do I need to set the oven to? Be mindful of the cupcakes so that they don't burn. And then, of course, licking the bowl after we're done. <laughs> I got dibs. Okay, yes, you can do that too. Yeah. So that's kind of like, that's our, that's our thing. That's our jam. Yeah, sometimes in life, um, it's really easy to move forward quickly to, you know, try to be ambitious and do all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And then it's really nice to have things that ground you. Absolutely. Like cooking together at home, being together with family, yeah. having fun with friends. Right. It's very grounding and fun. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You're doing a great Thank job, Thank you. Gio. Thank good. you. Appreciate it. Can we all three have one nerd? Would you like one? There we go. Would you like a nerd? Sure. Would you like one more? You know I would. This is like my favorite candy. <laughs> I call dibs cream. Between nerds and lemon heads. Mm. Ew, you like lemon heads? I do. I love lemon heads. Mm. It's really fun. It's crunchy. It's sweet. I like the air I heads. Mm. Are those the one that pops in your mouth when you eat? No, it's really sour. Uh, yeah, and then it turns sweet in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like those too. Okay. All right, what's next? All right, so I'm ready. that's all set. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take, yep, you can squeeze. You're going to take. I said second. Your second? Yes. So then who's first? You are. All right, <laughs> I'll take the lead. So we're, this is vanilla icing. Awesome. So we're just going to take this and we're just going to pipe this in a nice circle. And you can actually do this however you like. Um, I'm going to try and be slightly fancy. Um, Fonsai. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Cute. Don't squeeze me out. Gio is going to ice in his cupcake. Yeah, a ginormous one. Okay. It's funny because when you're doing this, you know, you see it on TV all the time, and then when you try it yourself, it doesn't actually work out. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the taste. Yeah. <laughs> and you throw enough candies on top, and it looks perfect. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's something really mesmerizing about seeing icing being mm -hmm. put on something. Okay. It's just like watching paint um, dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do you know there's um, this type of painting where you drip paint, okay, and it makes this beautiful color. Um, I really love watching that. Mine is. Oh, nice. Oh, go. you've done this before. Yeah, I've learned from <laughs> watching how people scoop out ice cream, like the mm -hmm. soft serve. Oh, okay. yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Should we put um, some nerds on top? Some nerds on top? Yes, please. Right. I got dibs. Now, what are some of 
about the things you guys like to do at home. Do you have other hobbies besides basketball? We play a lot of games. We play board games. Yeah. I like to be, crush you in um, the next <laughs> four. Obviously, Gia likes winning. <laughs> Gia likes competition. Yes, and there's nothing wrong with healthy competition. <laughs> I wonder where he gets it from. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we play all kinds of games. We like playing Uno. Typical, you know. We never play Uno. We don't play Uno? No. We, play, I we don't only play, play Uno? <laughs> no, not really. What do we play? Um, Connect Four. Connect Four Connect is four one. Is What's another one? one? We play... It's not looking beautiful. A little bit of Uno. Okay, so now we play <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Connect Other. Four is really our game. Yeah. Yes, true. Um, I like playing Connect Four. One of my favorite games is Scrabble, but I mean, I play that on my phone. Oh yeah, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. You like All about games? the word games, yeah. Um, All right, one more. I think we have enough icing. All right. This is looking Thank beautiful. You. <laughs> My favorite game has to be Monopoly. Yes. You have to play with the right people. Because you do. It can, <laughs> it can get very competitive. Well, and it could last forever. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, those look really good. Thank you. It's beautiful. And you can see the blooming flower has bloomed. Yes, it has. Mm. And underneath is a little tea light, so it's keeping the tea just nice and warm. Okay. You can look inside. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's interesting. Yeah, so we can pour a little bit in okay. just to give it a touch of flavor okay. with the tea. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Yay. <laughs> Two cupcakes. That's pretty good. Mm. And it smells good. That's your big one. I'll right? take this one. Chunky. So this is going to be messy, I'm telling you now. <laughs> We've got nerds, and the second we bite into this, it's going it's everywhere. Nice play. Wow. So here's to cooking with courage. Mm. Candy cupcakes. Mm. Yes. Mm. I like that little touch of sourness and sweetness. I do too. And the crunchiness and the candy and the soft and creaminess. That's and the pretty frosting. good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Gio? Mm. Do you have any advice for our viewers on in the future, if they're ever facing something where they're feeling fear, but they want to get over it and be courageous, what would you say to them? I would say to listen to yourself. Mm -hmm. If it's not going to hurt you, if it's going to help you grow, go for it. Mm. And feel confident and know that being afraid is normal and yeah. that stepping beyond your fear is just really going to help you step into a new you. It's right. going to help you grow to live up to your best, your greatest potential. Yeah. And if you ever make candy cupcakes, try them with your <laughs> That is true. Now, do you have any last words for our viewers? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Eat cupcakes. Oh, my. How it says, <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> Okay, so let's invite some of our friends and our crew to come and join us in a cupcake celebration, yeah? Yeah. All right, our first person is Ian. <laughs> Hi, America. <laughs> My name's Ian. I was the camera guy. Thank you for inviting me to your cupcake party. Um, I'd love a cupcake. What does courage mean to you? Well, courage to me is knowing I'm going to take a bite out of this cupcake and it could go everywhere. And I might have to clean that up, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our next person is Christina. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Christina and thank you so much for having me. Can I have a cupcake? Sure, what does courage <laughs> mean to you? Courage means being yourself and overcoming your biggest fears. Awesome. Our next guest <laughs> is Ken Hyde, our technical director. <laughs> Ken. Hi, I'm Ken. I've been here at FPA for about... I'm an OET months, and I have the privilege of being technical director today. And boy, 
boy, that cupcake looks good. <laughs> what does courage mean to you? Well, it means a lot of things. I've observed it a lot here at Fairfax Public Access TV, I can tell you that. Um, uh, one thing is being eight years old and walking in front of a camera, that takes some courage. <laughs> but uh, overall, courage means uh, taking a step beyond, doing something that uh, maybe you're not so familiar with or so comfortable with, but making yourself do it anyway. Awesome. Thanks, Ken. And our next guest is Martin. Martin is our audio operator. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for having me today. And thank you, everybody. And thank you for the cupcakes. <laughs> so you're going to ask me what... What does courage <laughs> mean to you? All right. Let me think. Uh, for the price of a cupcake, I think I can say that courage is getting out of your comfort zone. So like this, you can improve. If you want to do anything special in life, it's going to feel uncomfortable. But eventually, you will feel more and more comfortable at you. So it's the first step that costs a lot. But then after that, you have improved and you become a better person. Can I have a second one for that good question? Good answer? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's yes. try a third one. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. There we go. All right, two, ready? One, three. Wait, everyone get on camera. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Cheers. 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 And that's all the time that we have for today, folks. Thanks for joining us. Here's to candy cupcakes, cooking together with friends and family and having fun. And we hope that you feel inspired to be courageous in your life and go for your dreams. See you next time. Bye.